Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because I'm finally going to be unboxing my new Apple Watch. I literally ordered this almost a week ago now and it's been at my house for like five days and it took a lot of self-control for me to not have opened it yet. But I really wanted to film an unboxing video for you because I know how helpful these videos can be when you're trying to work out if you want to buy something or like which specific model you want to get. And I personally find these videos really helpful and also just like interesting to watch. So yeah, I really wanted to make this video. If if you watched one of my recent vlogs then you would know that I went to go and look at different Apple watches the other day. I wanted to try out the different sizes on my wrist because you can get the 44mm and the 40mm and I just kind of wanted to see like which one worked best for me and I also wanted to get some sort of professional advice on the different models that are available at the moment because I think Apple currently do the Series 3, the Series 6 and the SE and I just kind of wanted an idea about which one would be best for me because obviously the Series 6 is the most expensive and the series 3 is the cheapest and then after lots of thinking I decided to go with the series 6 so that is the one I'm going to be unboxing today. I also kind of mentioned in that video sort of why I wanted to get the Apple Watch but basically for me I'm really into my fitness and tracking steps and being really active and tracking my workouts and I think the Apple Watch will just be really helpful for me with that kind of thing to track my workouts. I think it will just be really useful and just a nice thing to have. You've got to treat yourself every now and then and this is me doing that. I also just really like the Apple Watch. I've never had anything like it, but I just think they're really cool. And I like that you can do like Apple Pay with your Apple Watch. It's a mixture of being like a practical investment and also just something fun and exciting for me. So yeah, I think without further ado, let's just get straight into the unboxing. Okay, so I have the Apple Watch here. And I mean, I will say I'm surprised it came in an actual bag rather than a box. Considering like how expensive an Apple Watch is, I'm surprised they didn't send it in like a protective box, but I'm hoping it will be okay because of like the actual Apple packaging. I mean, fingers crossed, nothing's broken. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. So I have a second camera filming just here so that you can get the close up view of the unboxing and I'm just gonna get straight on into it. So scissors, let's open this up. Okay, so let's take it out. Ooh, the box is so nice and sleek. It just says Apple Watch on the front of it there, which I think looks so nice. The box is a little bit dented, maybe just from travel. But yeah, let's open this up. This is so exciting. Okay, so I guess I just pull this along here. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that was so satisfying until it wasn't anymore. Okay, let's chuck the wrapping on the floor. Deal with that later. So this is the box. How nice. Oh, before I actually open this up, I thought I would just do a little rundown on the specifics of this Apple Watch. So I ended up deciding to go for the 40 millimeter gold Apple Watch Series 6 with just the GPS and no cellular. I chose the 40 millimeter in the end because I tried both of them on and I personally just found that the 44 millimeter was a bit big and heavy and clunky on my like quite small wrist. And I just thought the smaller one would look a bit sleeker and nicer on me and just feel nicer. And it's also a little bit cheaper, so that's a little bonus there. And then the band that I decided to go for was the pink sand sports band. I just really like it. I think the gold and the pink look really nice together and I wanted the sports band because obviously I want to wear it in the gym. I also decided to buy it from John Lewis. The price is exactly the same as buying it from Apple but the bonus is that you get a two year guarantee and an additional three months free trial of Apple Fitness. So with Apple you get three months and then John Lewis you get an extra three months so six months in total and I just thought that was a really nice little like addition so for the same amount of money you're just getting a little bit more. So that's why I decided to go with John Lewis. Anyway with all that out of the way let's open this up so on the back they have these little like pull things so i guess you just pull and then open it like this oh and there's the proper box that's so cool apple packaging is next level okay so here's the nice little box and i guess it's just in here so so in the box you just get this little like pack of instructions then the little charging cable thing and then the actual apple watch oh my gosh how cute it comes in this little pouch thing so here's the actual apple watch i guess i just slide it out of there okay so there it is okay i'm gonna put that to the side for a minute just while i open up the band so here's the box for the band obviously this is the pink sand sports band how do you open this up okay so there's a little pull tab here which i'm gonna open Okay, and then just like a bunch of instructions. Oh, okay, so I think you get the small, medium size and then the medium, large size. I'm gonna go for the small, medium size just because I have quite small wrists and I tried this one on in the shop and this was the one that fitted best for me. But yeah, it's really nice that you actually get the choice, I think. I'm just going to get the small, medium band out. 
out and attach it to my Apple Watch. So I think I just have to click it in on the other side. Okay, and I already accidentally turned it on because I accidentally pressed the button. Okay, so now that I've turned on my Apple Watch, I have to pair it with my phone. So I'm gonna have to turn off the other camera because I am using my phone to film that. Okay, so let's finish pairing. It says I have to go onto the Apple Watch app. So let's do that. And then it just comes up saying start pairing. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna click set up for myself. And then it says put on your Apple Watch and hold it up to the camera. I guess I'm gonna put it on. Okay. Oh, it's so nice. I'm not very good at putting this on myself, I won't lie. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Look at that. This lighting is so bad. Right, so let's hold it up to my phone. Okay, it says it's paired already. That's so easy. Set up Apple Watch. I've just realized you can literally see the whole mess from this unboxing. It's just all the packaging. Okay, so now it's just asking me a few questions about like the settings I want enabled. So this one's workout route tracking. And then it's just asking me to choose like my text size. And then as I change settings on my phone to like see different types of text, it changes on my Apple Watch so that you can see it. That's really cool. I think I'm just gonna leave it as is, honestly. I think it looks nice. Okay, now it wants me to set up a passcode. Create a passcode. Okay, so I set up a passcode and then it's talking about activity app. Perhaps you sit less, move more and get some exercise. <laughs> sure, set up activity app. A really cool feature of the Series 6 in comparison to the SE is that it has the blood oxygen and the, what was it, the blood oxygen and the ECG? But um, yeah, anyway, so it's asking me about blood oxygen, so I'm gonna click enable and then fall detection. That's another cool feature with the Series 6. It has like the fall detection thing. So if you fall, it will like ring the emergency services, but I feel like that could also be kind of an issue if you just fall, you really don't want the emergency services to be called. Okay, so clock faces. You can change your clock face to personalize your Apple Watch. Okay, so I'm gonna let my Apple Watch install all of the like available apps from my iPhone that work on the Apple Watch. And it just says it's syncing. Okay, and while it's syncing all the apps, I noticed that the Apple Watch has come up with like a tutorial of different features of the Apple Watch. So like just telling you how to do each thing. So it's like all the basics, the display, um, digital crown, side button. And it's basically just explaining how to work the Apple Watch, which is really cool that it gives you that little tutorial. Okay, cool. So it's finally synced to my phone. So it just says, welcome to Apple Watch. So I can choose like what type of face I want for my Apple Watch. You can actually change like the colors and then the color of like the face. I'm looking forward to having like a little play around with this and just choose the different things that I want. Okay, so at the moment I've got the white one with like yellow writing, but yeah, there's so many different colors you can go for. And you can also change like the actual face of the watch, which is so cool. And you can even change like the specific things that are actually on the Apple Watch, like today's date, temperature, UV index, activity, different stuff like that. Oh, face gallery, you can change it on here. So many different options. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Me getting just way too excited about this. I'm so happy that I've got this Apple Watch. I'm really excited to go and play around with it, set it up, use it in my workout on Monday. And yeah, I'm very grateful to be able to have this, obviously. Okay, I'll show you a little close up on my other camera of the actual Apple Watch. So this is the screen. Like when I raise it, it goes white, but then when I bring it back to the camera, you can't really see it properly. But if I click that button, go to the dot, it's got all my different apps that I have. Okay, so I think that is my Apple Watch completely set up. Oh, not me scratching it already. Bloody hell, I need to be so careful. I think I should probably get a screen protector for it because at the moment I've just left the like Apple protection thing on it, but I need to look into getting like a screen protector or something. I'm so clumsy. I feel like I'm going to damage this, but hopefully I can manage not to break it. I'm really glad that I decided to go for the Series 6 in the end because for ages I was thinking I was going to go for the SE just because it's quite a lot cheaper and it's almost the same thing as the Series 6. There's just like two things that it doesn't have. But the reason I ended up going for the Series 6 was I figured that if I'm spending all this money I may as well go for the most up-to-date model so that it will last me the longest because I know that the SE model has the Series 5 chip in it or something like that. So obviously it's not going to be as modern and up-to-date whereas this one will last me probably longer than that one but I was really tempted to go for the SE just because it's so much cheaper and it does almost the same things but yeah very happy with my Apple Watch can't wait to like try it out and get to know it and play around with it I really hope this video was helpful and I really hope you enjoyed it if you did I would love for you to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and yeah I think that is pretty much everything and I will see you in my next video bye